Okay, hi. Hi, everyone. Um, I wanted to let you know a couple of things. So we've had a lot of luck with our face masks. We're using longer ties, and the reason that we're doing this instead of elastic is first off, we can make these out of anything. We can make them out of old pillowcases, all kinds of things, because they're just ties, it doesn't matter. Um, the other thing is, when you tie it in a bow behind your head, you can then have it here until you need it if you're just using them on a, you know, going grocery shopping kind of basis. And then for those who are more on the front lines, postal workers, grocery store workers, um, healthcare workers. I started working with mask relief and I've been learning how to make proper healthcare masks like this. And it was all about this pocket and the way they do the pleat. And I've been kind of having an anxiety attack over the pleat because what I do is a little different. I call it the cummerbund because it looks like a cummerbund but it allows me to make it really easily, really quickly, and without using any pins at all. And uh, my son is hanging up paintings upstairs, which is very exciting, making a gallery wall for me. That is my normal business, is art. Anyway, um, so what I did differently, because I've been learning how to make these, and I was freaking out about how to make the pocket. See, they do this pocket that is Two thirds up, it's like a little pocket, so you can put an additional filter inside. And these pleats are just kicking my butt. I'm I'm still working on it. I'm gonna get it, but I haven't gotten it quite yet. So in the meantime, I'm gonna practice by making an adjustment to my masks. So these are the ones that I do. I'm gonna continue to do these all fabric. I really like it. People seem to find them very comfortable. Make sure there's a knot at the end, and that way you just, whatever threads that come off, the ties get really nice once you wash them. And if you, before first use, wash it for 20 seconds in dish soap in the sink, and make sure you wash your hands too. Uh, squeeze it dry after you rinse it really, really well. Um, and then you can hang it in your shower or you can throw them in the dryer for really just not a lot of time at all. Um, so that can work really well. But the other thing I added, like these are made, is I've added a pocket. And that means that you can add, if you want, some are using a paper towel as an additional filter because it's now a pocket. Um, so I put these finished seams at the top but that they're open. And I think that holds it in place just as well as the one that they have that folds over. Um, because of the cummerbund pleat, I believe it will hold it in place very well, specifically. So for those that are actually using an N95 filter inside, that will also work very, very well with these. So um, that's what I wanted to share. The other thing is that I have a GoFundMe link and so these are free. I'm sending them wherever I can. I'm trying to put them on every face that doesn't have I mask you. <laughs> That's my hashtag. Um, so that every face has a mask. And if you need more, um, I ask that you consider donating to help us buy fabric. Um, for $1.40, I can mail these anywhere in the United States. So I've been mailing them to New York. I've been mailing them to New Jersey, to Massachusetts, to Florida. Um, so we need to keep making them. And so for that, we need fabric. Unfortunately, today I was disappointed to learn that six, six of the orders that I made with Joann's have now been canceled. Not back ordered, but canceled. All of my novelty... I had a bunch of Beatles and other Rolling Stones, uh, Grateful Dead fabrics, and all of them were canceled by Joann's. So I'm a little irritated with their, oh, website that is selling all this stuff like crazy, but then it never arrives. So I've had a lot of shipments that have still, my earliest shipment has still not arrived. Not arrived. And I get emails that say that my order to be picked up curbside is ready, which gives me the idea that somebody's put it in a bag already. But no, when we get there, they are not organized, unfortunately. And instead, they seem to be shopping and gathering the stuff as we get there. 
and then holding it up as if we're going to notice which Joanne's bag is which. Um, so everybody gets out of their cars and goes up to look. It, it, so I hope they get their act together. Um, everybody should get a number when they show up. And that way you can go back to your car until your number is called because there's no reason to make curbside into a dangerous line. Pissed me off. Sorry, but I'm going to talk about it because I'm doing my part. I figure Joanne's is doing very well. They need to do their part.